But no, I'm like the happiest girl in the world uh, because I know exactly who I am. And it's so cool when you live every minute of every day completely in yourself. Like you're not having an out-of-body experience. You're not planning for other people's, like, do they like me? Or you're just all day, every day. Like, you know, when you're a little kid and you say, you know, I'm six and three quarters and, or I'm seven and a half or I'm almost a teenager or I'm 12, you know? And then you get to be a certain age and you really stop savoring life. You just kind of, you know? So I, I'm here to tell you that I am uh, 56 and 11 twelfths. Uh, <laughs> my birthday's next month. And, and I just savor it like taffy, like everything. Like, like I didn't know it was gonna be this good uh, because there's a lot of lies that older women uh, tell younger women and then it takes you years to, to shake them off and say that was a lie. Uh, and so, uh, no, that's true. let's be honest. All of us have like moms, the Catholic church, you know, bad people in the schoolyard. I'm gonna set all of that straight right now. You're gonna think it's jokes, but it's the truth. Uh, wrapped in bacon so you'll eat it. And um, if you're vegetarian, dip it in ranch. And if you're vegan, you have no sense of humor, so I don't care. I'm just addressing the other people. So, um, so that being said, um, number one, I actually have a very nice relationship uh, with a man uh, in my life right now because I don't care. Uh, what happens? I've completely um, an existential. Like when he leaves my apartment, he doesn't exist. And I actually picture him dead in a ditch with X's on his eyes like a raccoon. And then he doesn't come back alive until he either calls and says something nice or comes to my apartment. Uh, he just doesn't exist. And it's very hard for women to do this, but men appreciate it uh, when you can do that, when you can let them be. Because it's hard for us to let them be. Uh, when they're away from us. We try to, we, we turn our cell phones into electronic tracking devices. That's what we do. And men are wild animals. And not only are they wild, you, this guy, you are loving me right now. You're looking at me like, wow. <laughs> and you've got a little gray in your hair, so you know that I'm telling the truth. What's your name, sir? Alan. Alan? Yeah, Alan, can I ask you a couple questions and you'll tell me if they're true? Okay, are you still somewhat, you know, a little bit stubborn and oppositional? Like when she asks you to do stuff before she finishes the question, you, you already want to say no? Even if it's something, even if you wanted to do it, just because she asked you, you kind of don't want to do it because you're a man. And pretty much, you don't just have sperm in your testicles, you have opposition. You, 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 you house... You house resel I'm serious because that's how they that's how they're strong and they're they're hunters and they kill things because they have to have equal part they have to have courage. That's why do you notice they go that he has balls. You know why? Because that's where they store the stuff that they need to go out and do things that we need them to do. We need them to be stubborn and, and oppositional and all the, because they, it's left over because they're not gonna leave a cave and go kill some big ferocious creature, you know, with a vagine. We're not gonna do that. We're like, no, because we don't carry anything in there. We're not, we're not storing power in our, in our, you know, have I gone too far, Alan? But I, uh, because if women understood and went with it, if you got in alignment with the way they are, with their obstinance and their laziness and their constant horniness and their, their desire to not talk to you. And like, if you, if you got in alignment with this, you would be, these aren't jokes, by the way. I, uh, <laughs>